Wholesome memes has been a very popular genre of memes since 2016. Wholesome memes are different from most memes in that instead of aiming to make the viewer laugh, they may propagate by presenting a set of values including kindness, generosity, and friendship, creating a warm fuzzy feeling within the viewer. This may also lead to the spread of these values. While at first this may seem positive, wholesome memes as a whole have become largely destructive to the moral and spiritual development of the individual. The concept of wholesomeness has been digested into a buzzword and assimilated into the sign structure of mass culture with the effect of creating disempowered subjects of mass media. Before wholesomeness became a meme category, it had meanings and implications that were much more constructive to individual development. Wholesomeness has classically been defined as promoting health or well-being of mind or spirit, or promoting health of the body. Obviously implicit in the concept of wholesomeness is a tendency towards wholeness in some respect. In the psychological paradigm of Carl Jung, 20th century Swiss psychologist and founder of analytic psychology, the ultimate goal of personal development is a process informed by the archetypal idea of wholeness. This process is called individuation. According to Jung, individuation is the process by which individual beings are formed and differentiated. In particular, it is the development of the psychological individual as a being distinct from the general collective psychology. Individuation, importantly, is not about perfection in any sense, but of obtaining psychological completeness and wholeness. The picture Jungian psychology paints of the psyche is one of various interacting psychic elements and archetypes, both conscious and unconscious, each with their own affects, dynamisms, and behaviors. The goal of individuation is not to overcome one's psychological peculiarities, but to embrace and develop them. The development of the whole individual, then, must entail the mutual recognition of the disparate elements of the psyche, and must establish a dialectic between one's conscious and unconscious, greater and lesser developed elements, etc. Or, as Carl Jung puts it, more simply, the goal of the individuation process is the synthesis of the self. One meme which expresses this older idea of wholesomeness is the Dark Kermit meme, in which Kermit confronts a shadowy version of himself, whose intentions and desires are less than pure. In this meme, we can see the opposition between the ego, the archetype that is the center of the conscious personality, and the shadow, an archetype of the personal unconscious. The shadow consists of those aspects of the total personality which were, at one point, unacceptable to the conscious self, and thus were disavowed and rejected by the ego, to be repressed into the unconscious. These dark aspects, if not made conscious and reckoned with, will not simply go away, but will haunt the life of the individual in the form of projections and possessions. Therefore, Kermit's acknowledgement of his darker side represents a crucial step on the path to individuation. Wholesomeness, in pop culture, has taken on somewhat of a new meaning. If we look to Urban Dictionary, the definition there is an embodiment of the following, selfless, considerate, sweet, compassionate, thoughtful, generous, genuine, doesn't talk trash about other people. Alternatively, a meme which is taken by a different turn to express love and affection instead of usual lewd or negative meme. Overall, it makes you feel good. In modern usage, wholesomeness has lost its denotation of being conducive to health or well-being, and instead is used to denote acts of niceness or sweetness, as judged by the feeling it creates. It is important to note that the root of this new definition is not the tendency to produce real psychological wholeness, or even to produce real kindness or friendship, but instead to produce the nice feelings associated with viewing these sweet things. The result of this seemingly subtle change is that, rather than requiring the cultivation of virtue, participating in wholesomeness now instead revolves around a saccharine hedonism. This pleasure is empty, because it is derived from a mere hollow image, a simulation of wholesomeness, which continually drifts farther away from reality. 
The modern culture of wholesomeness may be better understood not through Carl Jung, but instead through French philosopher and cultural theorist Jean Baudrillard. In his 1981 philosophical text, Simulacra and Simulation, Baudrillard analyzes the effect of mass media and communication technology on modern consumer society. Baudrillard began writing in the 70s, a time in which unifying societal sense-making narratives, also called meta-narratives, began to fracture and fade away. Baudrillard presents the case that mass media has taken up the mantle of helping people make sense of reality, but the extreme proliferation of media and images which enclose everyday life creates a cultural condition in which the domination of the image leads us to mistake it for reality itself. As a result, the image eclipses the real. Fantasy contaminates reality. The map takes precedence over the territory, and culture becomes self-referential, drifting away from any meaningful notion of the real. In the text, Baudrillard presents four stages in which the sign loses contact with reality as the phases of the image, which are as follows. In the first stage, the image is a faithful copy of reality. An example of this might be a photograph or painting of a real known object or event. In the second stage, the image is malefic, distorting or perverting an existing reality. An example of this might be an artificial or edited photograph of a real object or event. In the third stage, the image presents itself as real, but it is merely self-referential sorcery which masks the absence of any underlying reality. An example of this would be manufactured mass media spectacles or celebrity drama. In the fourth stage, the image bears no relation to reality and is a pure simulation. An example of this would be Disneyland, or an alternate reality game. According to Baudrillard, the transition from signs that dissimulate something to signs that dissimulate that there is nothing marks a decisive turning point. The first reflects a theology of truth and secrecy, to which the notion of ideology still belongs. The second inaugurates the era of simulacra and of simulation in which there is no longer a god to recognize his own, no longer a last judgment to separate the false from the true, the real from its artificial resurrection, as everything is already dead and resurrected in advance. Wholesome memes straddle the third and fourth phases of the image, occupying the latter side of this turning point. At this point, any shared cultural ideal of wholeness has disappeared due to the aforementioned collapse of grand meta-narratives, which left behind only a nihilist consumer society. Phase 3 wholesome memes, as a means to obscure the absence in consumer society of any meaningful ideal of wholeness, present signs which simulate this ideal, producing an aura of the absent wholeness. Baudrillard says of such simulations that, It is no longer a question of imitation, nor duplication, nor even parody. It is a question of substituting the signs of the real for the real, that is to say, of an operation of deterring every real process via its operational double, a programmatic, metastable, perfectly descriptive machine that offers all the signs of the real and short circuits all its vicissitudes. The aura created by this simulation is fleeting and illusory, as of course real growth isn't attained from memes. The set of values presented by wholesome memes to achieve this aura is also often harmful, regressive, and infantile. For example, many of them feature nothing but the perspective of children receiving love from a guardian, as if it were wholesome to regress to a childlike state where adults praise you for every Cheerio you eat. This is precisely in line with Baudrillard's above theory of the simulacral turning point. As he says, when the real is no longer what it was, nostalgia assumes its full meaning. That is, the disappearance of the real leads to the plundering of the past for something to present as real. In this case, nostalgia for happy childhood moments assumes the empty seat of real wholesomeness. Besides being generally childish and nostalgic, the values presented by wholesome memes may vary but never escape the established comfort zone. If one takes these memes to heart, 
they may end up adopting such values as sharing is caring, take your pills, make friends, play video games, believe in others, no critical thought, be nice, buy stuff, comfort your friends, animals are better than humans, upvote things on Reddit, mommy, accept love, share memes instead of talking, buy your kids fast food, you are awesome, don't kill yourself, be an enabler, self-love, Starbucks, as a phase four image, wholesome memes completely abandon any pretense of relation to the referent, that is to say, wholesomeness. Instead, they become a pure simulacrum, a totally closed system of images with no referent, a copy without an original. Commonly featured in this category are cute animals, Keanu Reeves, Pokemon, more cute animals, Bob Ross, cute animals, and Keanu Reeves. In general, the system of values these memes seem to promote is one of facile niceness, overly concerned with the enjoyment of commodities, and unconcerned with the depth or complications of real human growth and relationships. This ineffectual ideology, cultivated for years by mass media and advertising, leaves its subjects without the tools or even the basic intuitions necessary to improve themselves. This is not a flaw of the system, but rather a fully integrated feature of the sign structure which stymies individual development and keeps people susceptible to further messaging. As Carl Jung said, The mass state has no intention of promoting mutual understanding and the relationship of man to man. It strives, rather, for atomization, for the psychic isolation of the individual. After realizing the illusory nature of this simulation, one may begin to ask, how can I escape simulation? Is there a possible culture of genuine wholesomeness worth striving for? Baudrillard was famously pessimistic regarding the possibility of escaping simulation. One must also remember that wholesome memes initially spawned as an attempt to use sincerity and positivity to counter the ironic and edgy depression memes, which were much more popular at the time. While wholesome memes ended up an insidious simulation, they are still less destructive than depression memes. Therefore, a meme trend to counter wholesome memes would likely become a similarly vacuous simulacrum. Considering this, and Baudrillard's idea that simulacrum is a consequence of our unrelenting bombardment with images, my recommendation would simply be to drastically scale down one's media consumption and pursue the kind of individual development outlined in Jung's work. In addition to this, I recommend, whenever you look at a wholesome meme, remember its true subtext the implicit intention, unanimously avowed by every wholesome meme. I feed on your vitality.